Ooh, Malian's Maggage. Oh, this guy went random. Oh, wow. Okay. A rare Empire War player with balls. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, listen, we got to go. Let's do some archers here. It's been, I'm actually like hella rusty in AoE right now, by the way. I haven't played AoE in a hot minute. But that's what we're here for. We're going to do rest a little bit. Actually, I should go scout aggressively with my scout. See what he's going to go for. Make a couple spears back home. Let's wall this up. And get our second spear in position here. And this is why you want to go aggressive, because you never know what kind of damage you find here. I think you do want to punish these bills. I can go back and probably just try to set up some walls. Excellent. Map is a little bit more difficult to wall than usual, though. Is that the edge of the, edge of the map? Not sure. <clears throat> You're just walling up, though. We got one kill, so we're, we're actually like completely chilling. One of those guys died. And we're up. Plan is to go for like crossbows f very fast. And then we can switch the camels if necessary. We already killed one villa, so we're in a good position here. Let me just mark it and up. That's like, thank god I checked. It's like a hole that loses you games. That's a hole that loses you games. There's a way to get around this. I don't want to actually wall like that though. I think he knows that I don't want to wall like that. He's, he should be like scared of getting trapped, no? I trade one for one basically on that scout. So far, so good. So far, so good. Debating if I want to go for another stable, like for a stable, or just chill on the one range. I think we just wait for this archer and just chill on one range for a little bit. Maybe even add a TC quick. That's why, like, Viper only sets, like, 100 stone. Because you just want to buy it back now. Usually. No, yeah. There's no reason not to buy back 100 stone right now. Just make a TC. Because I can afford it, right? You just, like, TC. This, this. Oh, almost. Yeah, this, this. And you're just good for a bit. Now you need to save up for Bosaw. It's the next step. And then you just have, like, crossbow pressure. And you're booming a little bit. And that's just, like, the perfect place to be in. 2TC is just such a solid setup, half the time. Now, I don't expect to find damage here, like that much damage, but I expect to find like 1-2 bills maybe. 
that gate that can't pressure this pressure around this side. And we got both sides. Okay, cool. Alright, nothing to pressure here, so just scout with the spear, come around here. Oh that all oh, all oh, that rhymed actually, that's crazy. I'll go towards the front now. Now next thing I'm worried about is like he is gonna get the castle and he's gonna have a lot more like just army on the field, maybe a light cavalry or something else. So I might get cleared up. I have to be careful. Yeah, there's the castleage. I gotta be careful here. I still think I'll pressure a little bit because uh, I don't know if you, you know, light cabin plus the armor are pretty expensive. And looks like he might be trying some CA or something. He only has bloodlines, no armor. No, no, he's gonna go cap. Okay. I think the follow-up here is naturally just camel. I'm gonna stay on two PCs for a little bit though. Yeah, he's getting armor, so he's definitely committed to those guys. Oh, brother. That's that rust I'm talking about. Been a couple days. The more we play, the better it'll become. <clears throat> now, is the volume down a little bit? Is the volume a bit low? Make it a little higher. That should be a bit better in terms of like volume. Let me know how that is. No, I don't. I don't use right click garrison. Sounds about normal. Perfect. And now they have the camels, I think we can just go for the third TC. Definitely wanted to be on some stone though, like for sure. Stone at the front makes sense. And now, now we have the camel, I feel like you can't jump on me anymore, which is really good. I definitely still want to attack though, but I have to wait for like three camel. Well, I can move out with my crossbow and keep the camel at home for a bit. Because by the time he jumps on me, my camel can like move into position, which is good. And with the CC, I'll also be able to get a monastery. And once all that is done, then I am in a pretty good spot. Honestly, this is whatever. This is literally nothing. I'm just going to attack myself. Where's the workshop? I'll kill the farm and leave. Maybe a second farm. Alright, that's good enough. Come on, no arrows miss and hit him. Should be in a good position here. I think the score is probably just scouting for the most part. I think I do still want to put pressure. I have like 20 archers that I definitely want to be using. I'm floating some reds, but it's kind of okay because we're going to use that like gold to click up. So it's not like I'm 100% floating for no reason. To justified floating of res.
We did force the we we forced the siege workshop unit, which is good. And getting cleared up here would be a disaster. He's just auto scouting with that guy. Oh, and actually catching me, that's crazy. Whatever. He's not gonna catch the second monk, is he? Could add a fourth DC, but I wanna push, so I'm gonna just add army. I think I have a really good window here. <clears throat> With my camels, for example. Yo, what are you doing here? And how did he find me? How is he just finding these random kills? Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, no more relics. Screw it. No point. He found... Dude, he just found four kills one back to back. In like, obscure areas of the map. That's so annoying. Uh, I want a Ford Castle. Something like right there would just be so game ending. Oh, thank you so much, bro. Glad you enjoyed them. And now it's like the imp is there, you know? works fast as you pick that up pick those upgrades up quick I go for his blacksmith because that's just a good like, easy target what a timing that I found here Scorpions can be annoying. Got like no relics. I wonder if he has the relics. He, it looks like he has no relics. So, like, where are they? Uh, he for sure has some. Somewhere. Don't know where though. Uh, definitely another trip here. Oh. These crosses are so important, by the way. I really like Malians here, actually. It's like randomly, it's a good sieve. Because there's just so much gold and stone they can just take. Yeah, Malians are like, there's nothing wrong with them here. I need to kill that TC. That TC is super important to take down. Taking it down, we are at the moment. 
heavy CA. But it should be fine. He hasn't got no map control. So even if he's got a heavy CA, even with full Magyar upgrades, which he's still missing unique tech, it's still going to be fine. Okay, we wait for Furimba Camo to kick in. That's like the last remaining tech that's like super good here. Let me just go in. The important thing is that up top we have some camels. And if he doesn't want to fight, he doesn't want to fight. It's whatever. But we're just going to chase him down. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's got to understand here. Oh, well, that's where all the relics are, but he's just keeping them in the side. What the hell? Don't you dare drop on me. Don't you dare drop on me, game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a disaster for him. I'm just gonna dive him. Well, thanks for lagging, Ellie. A lot. Maybe he's lagging as well. AR Martin, thanks for the prime, so I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hello, no chance AoE. Hello, no life addict. Thanks for the subs, guys. Hello for the thank you for the follows, guys, as well. Yes. Here we go. I think I could just go for it here. Alright, five. Four, three, two, one. I'm going. I hope he enjoys microing for the rest of his life while losing literally everything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm just face real spamming him. He has the micro. I don't even care what he's doing. I'm getting further and further ahead, continuing to develop my economy. And eventually, there's just only so much you can micro. Even with that very strong Magyar CA, there's only so much you can micro. There's no space. And once those TCs collapse, there's nowhere for the Vils to hide. Everything's falling apart, and it's an inevitable GG. Good first one here, and shout out to this guy for playing random Civ. Honestly, shout out to this guy for playing random Civ. Love to see it. <laughs> 